five years and today we're looking at a uh, readers question and that's from David and David has uh, been kind enough to donate to the actual channel as well um, which is very much appreciated thanks a lot David and what David is asking is he's getting a set patch 3.96 issue when running WHD load now I didn't even know you could do this um, the way David's actually running this he's actually running a game from the launcher itself rather than actually loading it from the hard drive oh, I didn't know you could do that and I had to go with it today and it's yeah it's it it's a lot easier um, I normally in the actual Mega workbench itself I don't I, then I normally run games from there for a WHD load I never knew you could actually run from the launcher by actually loading them into the actual hard drive itself so um, he's getting this this um, error come up and it's not obvious um, I spent a good hour trying to figure out or longer than that trying to figure out what it is and it's doing my head in as well and it's obvious once you know how to fix it um, it's very obvious actually but the way I've even looked at forums and even by looking at what they've put in there um, I couldn't figure out where on earth in UAE to actually go and find to actually get this set patch in there and working whether to put the disk in the disk drive or to actually put it place it somewhere in UAE I, I tried a number of different um, methods but I'll show you how it, how it's actually done so I've got my cannon fodder sitting here so this is a full game a WHD load game so when I start it I oh let's try that again there we go uh, when we hit start we get this uh, make sure a W3 disk is scanned in FSUAE because we'll need a set patch 3.9 so our game loads fine but obviously that there is an issue there because otherwise we would need set patch because it's sitting there and WHD is asking for it so the right way to solve this is we've got to actually get that set patch um, and actually place it into a location so WHT can actually load it. Now set patch can be found on the workbench disk, so it can either be found on the install disk or the actual main workbench disk itself. And I'm going to show you whereabouts they are located. So this is workbench 3.1 and if we open it up, um, go to view and all files show all files and in the C directory you'll find there's a set patch in here now on 3.1 this is version if I just open this up I think it's 4.40.16 uh, so 3.1 is 40.16 now on workbench 3.0 what I'm going to do is load the actual install disk for workbench 3.0 to show you that um, it's actually on there as you can see this is the documentation and it's saying about the set path issue um, but again I couldn't find anything out from there so our install disk if we go to show all files on there you'll find there's a C drive there and also you've got set patch on here now this workbench 3.0 and you'll notice that the set let's get to the set patch a minute set patch when we actually run it is the version 3.96 um, version of set patch now I've placed I've got these in my floppies drive here and I've got workbench 3.1 and 3.0 in here and to actually get this into uh, FSUA what you have to do is click on the little icon and go to update file database it's not obvious and then we add it in here into our, our files because why would you scan for kickstart files again it's this is what, what through me and obviously through David as well so we just open the location hit scan and that will scan for the files and pick up those that set patch file so you can see that's been added in there the actual folder if we hit close come on close there we go and now we can actually start this and we shouldn't get the error. So 
let's make sure our, our, yeah, our hard drive is all set up there our WHD load and you can see set patch has been installed and patched the game and it should up load up all fine so I hope that helps and I'll see you next time if you like this video or any other videos on my channel please pop over to my Ko-Fi site or coffee however you want to pronounce it and there you can actually support me by dropping me a few pounds a few francs or dollars wherever your currency is all money will be turned back into the show not just for buying me a coffee and i'll be buying resources and equipment to actually produce and enhance my current videos on that site itself